Yo, what is going on, you ridiculous Raichus? Today we're gonna be playing some games with Zoro Rock. That's right, just straight Zoro Rock. No Weavile, no Lucario. Nothing else really extra. Uh, this list is inspired by Henry Brand's uh, list that he keeps doing so well with. Just won uh, Perth Regionals in Australia. He top aided the Australia IC as well with a list similar. Um, so this is where the list is drawing a ton of inspiration from, from Henry Brand's list. Um, it's got the uh, Twilight Eyes, Lycanroc GX in there. Um, it's got the Giratina, uh, it's got Timer Balls over the Heavy Communication, which I do actually kind of like. Uh, communication can actually be kind of awkward to use uh, consistently throughout games. Um, we only go with the one of here, increasing our chances of finding the turn one Lele into Elm by a little bit. Um, things that are different from his last list was I cut the Aranguru and I cut the Erika for Cynthia Lily. I really like playing Lily and Zorark decks, either if you're going with the Heavy Lily build, or if you're going with the heavy elm build, still playing a one of Lily for those times when you do get let loose on the turn one, having the Lily to have a comeback um, or have a have a good turn one supporter. Because it's really hard to pull off Elm into Cynthia or Elm into a draw supporter in general uh, if you get let loose. So the Lily becomes the best turn one supporter usually from that point on. So I do like playing the one of Lily still. Um, besides that, heavier choice band Kakui and the Devoured Field. We got the Tina Devoured Field choice band combo to KO Lele's um, at some point. Um, there's a counter gain and the multi switch, so a whole ton of ways to get into the Lycan Rocks. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say on the list. Has the standard 1 1 muck line as well as the Ditto. So basically a 2 1 muck line if you're playing against Zapdos decks. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get into some games. In this first game here, uh, pretty good hand. We got the Elm into the Cynthia, which is the ideal turn one into turn two supporters for the Zoro Rock. Playing against a mm, Lightning deck. All right, go ahead and hit him with that Elm. I think these three is what I want, and we'll probably attach the DCE to the Rock Ruff. I don't really see a reason not to. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the pull here. Uh, I kind of want to take a second to Rua, actually, to be honest. Save the Ditto for later. But I could go Lycanroc, Lycanroc, actually. So let's actually grab the Ditto here. Yeah, we could go Lycanroc, Lycanroc this turn. So yeah, we're going to grab the Ditto. Uh, Rockruff comes down. As Rua comes down. A Ditto comes down. And then DCE to Rockruff. Get this kid ready to start swinging. Um, it could get KO'd by the Zapdos. And if it does, oh well. Um, there's definitely something possible that could happen here on our on our opponent's first turn. Lightning, Guzma, knock out your Rockruff with energy. I'd rather put the energy in play than not. That means they're not using a draw supporter on their first turn, so they're setting up that much less, and they're kind of sacrificing the turn to KO the whole rock. To KO the rock, they get the KO on the rock rough, but they don't really get to do much else on their turn. So I'm okay with that trade off. Uh, if it does happen, there's the Guzma. Oh, they're going after the Ditto. All right, so they won't want me to get out that muck. That is definitely fine with me. I do not mind that at all. Um, go rock rough. Um, I think we're just gonna go ahead and hit him with the Twilight Eyes right now. And if we get the second Lycanroc, we'll bring up this and knock it out. Get rid of that. And then just play the Cynthia. And we're looking for Fighting Energy plus other Lycanroc. There's the energy. No other Lycanroc though, so it's gonna be a slow turn here. It's gonna sell a rock for 100 it looks like. Not great. I still have the counter gain though, so we're gonna be fine. Uh, we've got a couple turns coming up here. Yeah, so sell a rock. Just gonna hit it for 100. A super unfortunate amount of damage. Yeah, we wanted to find the other Lycanroc and just KO that Zero for two prizes. Um, I guess doing something is better than nothing. At least we hit it for 100, I guess. It's not great, though. It's not great. Not gonna lie. It's not great. <clears throat> so, yeah, we get the 100 hit on the Zapdos. Lele makes its way to the bench. Gonna be able to clean up that later, hopefully, with Choice Band plus Devoured Field plus Giratina. Once we make have that thing make its way into the discard pile. So that's another two prizes, potentially. Um, and we'll see what they set up from here. I mean, if they go after, like... I mean, we can just straight up KO a Picaram if we want to. So they went for a Guzma. Um, so that tells me they probably have uh, Energy, Coco Prism, Guzma, Knockout, or Zerua, which definitely stinks. Um, that's unfortunate, but it doesn't matter. We still have the two rock offs in place. We still have stuff going on. I was going to go retreat. Yeah, because you have the retreat and then Guzma knock out Zerua. All right. All right. Well, I mean, if we whiff the Lycanroc again, <laughs> at the very least, we can KO the Zapdos, keep all their energy out of play. And they are a GX build, so they ideally want to keep energy in play um, to be able to move them around with energy switches onto Picaram eventually. So KOing this isn't going to be like the biggest it's not going to be the biggest loss ever. It's definitely not great. There is the Zorark a little late there. Okay, you know what? Fine. All right, sure. Um, So they had to dig for that Guzma, so they probably don't have another Guzma in hand. So we're going to go ahead and prep a Fighting Energy. 
and Excel Rock here. We draw the counter gain once again. I don't want to attach it because then that definitely becomes a focus for our opponents. So yeah, I don't want to put the counter gain in play um, ever. Um, so that's a, that's a little annoying. <laughs> we draw the counter gain for the third time in a row here. Um, but it's fine. We'll be chilling. Now we're set up okay. Our opponent really doesn't have... They didn't set up like they chose to go after these Guzma plays instead of anything else. So their setup just really isn't that great. We see as they're finally starting to set up some actual reasonable threats here. Finally, it's taken them a while. Um, they could definitely attack with Pikaram this turn, which would be a little scary. They need quite a bit, though, so I'm not too worried about it actually happening. Um, but it could definitely could, definitely could, definitely could happen. We'll see here. There's the Coco Prism Pop. One on the Pikaram, one on the Zeroar. There's the energy switch over, so it is definitely possible. They're going all out for it, so they're going for it. We'll see if they get it or not. Energy active. If they got another E switch, which it looks like they did, or Thunder Mountain. Oh, they got the E switch. Uh, they currently don't knock us out, though, unless they want a GX attack. There's the second. Wow. All right. Impressive draw. Impressive draw there from our opponent. That is something else for sure. There's the full blitz knockout. Very impressive draw there. All right. You know what? Okay, sure. Whatever you say then, bud. It's got to be how it's got to be. All right. Uh, we're going to use a Lycanroc, hopefully, finally here to knock out this Pikaram. Um, can't Claw Slash it. Unless we're able to get this guy back, which is possible we find the Rescue Stretcher. Um, but if our opponent does have a... We really don't actually want to put... Well, they have access to their GX attack, though, so we just kind of lose. We actually just can't win. Wow, what a game. That's super unfortunate. So we drew pretty unfortunate early on, and then our opponent hits this huge turn after only playing one draw supporter... And we just lose. We actually just can't win. Um, there's no possible way for us to win this game. We knock out this. They chaos with the Marsh Shadow. Uh, we knock out the Marsh Shadow. They chaos with this with the GX attack. So there's actually no way for us to win this game. That's kind of unfortunate. I'm trying to think. I guess the only way for us to win would be to attack, knock this out with Zorark, and then hopefully they whiff a damage modifier because um, Zorark has the 210 HP. All right, so I guess that's the, that's the plan then. Um, but I need a Lily into like a bunch of basic Pokemon. So. So that's the plan. Um, that's really the only plan to go for here. We could also get this like rock back potentially and rip an energy off. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's stretcher for one. Uh, we need to trade into choice band here, so we need to thin out the deck as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and grab this guy. Uh, thin out the deck again. What is the best potential supporter? We have that in hand. I guess Mallow is pretty good. Yeah, so we need to trade into a choice band here. Um, if not, we do just lose. Go ahead and trade right now. Oh, we also need the other Zorark as well. Well, we got the other Zorark, but we didn't get the choice band. So we have no way to win this game. Um, and we can go ahead and concede. So crazy turn there from our opponent after not playing a draw supporter they play the first draw supporter and they fully get the knockout so nothing we can really do about that one that's just kind of a gonna be a rough loss loss in that first one for some from some pretty unfortunate draws we're gonna go ahead and bounce back here in this one <clears throat> pretty solid opening hand we got the lele for the elm and the energy attachment to the uh rock rough so solid looking start i'll see what we're playing against here the Grimer start is not great, but this deck does run a switch. Um, so we will have a way to potentially move our active on the following turn. It is a Zapdos deck. All right. Communication away. This guy. Lele for Elm. Muck is prized. That is unfortunate against a Zapdos deck. All right. That's a little rough. We'll see what we can make out of this, though. Elm, I so because Muck is prized, I don't really want to grab the Ditto right now. Um, so I think I'm just gonna go to Rua, to Rua, Rockruff, because Muck is prized. So if we grab the Ditto and then they go knock out Grimer next turn, Guzman knock out Ditto, then we don't have a way to set up Grimer and Ditto in the same turn and kind of make it hard for our opponent to choose which one um, or what to go after on the turn. Or like they can't knock out both. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So I think we definitely want to go with like this play for the turn. Just uh, don't get the ditto yet until we find the muck out of the prizes and then look for the play where we go bench ditto, stretcher grimer, um, and then take the knockout from there. So that's the play we will be looking for a little bit later on here. 
Now they get a rainbow onto their zap guy. Choice bit into the active, and then there's the lily. We're looking for some kind of switch card. Uh, interesting that they opened... Did I mulligan? Interesting that they chose to open Zapdos instead of Jirachi. There's never a reason for that, right? I don't think so. So, interesting choice there from our opponent. I don't think there's ever a reason to do that. <laughs> it seems really weird to me. There's a shrine. Shrine's a little bit annoying, but we do have some stadiums of our own. There's a blower. We should go ahead and get rid of both these immediately. And then we're going to judge our opponent. <clears throat> they probably have a Guzman in there. Evolve, attach, and then just play Judge. We do have a switch in the deck, which we could hit. Uh, pretty unlikely to hit. Yeah, we don't hit it here. Not surprised. Super unlikely that we would hit it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and trade away the Ultra Ball here. Um, I guess we could still trade into it. Super unlikely either way that we actually find it here. Yeah, not surprised. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have another Zerua make its way to the bench. And then pass over to our opponent. Um, see what they got um, off the Judge themselves. Like I said, unlikely that the Grimer will be sticking around too long, but I'm fine with that. We have the Stretcher for the Grimer already, but we're not going to be utilizing that just yet. Um, we're kind of going to wait until... Um, wait until we can get the Muck out of the prizes. That's the priority right now, is find Muck out of the prizes. Get the Muck and then go Bench Grimer, Bench Ditto uh, with Muck in hand. And then make it hard for our opponent to stop us from using Muck. Okay, they also play Slugma, interesting, and Hoopa. Um, we don't really have a way to deal with Hoopa besides Wild Kick. So I guess Wild Kick... Oh, no, we have Muck. We're going to have to find the Muck, though. <laughs> um, I kind of want to trade here first, because if I found a Guzma, a Guzma would be really nice. So I'm going to trade here first. I'm going to trade away this Fighting Energy, because I want to keep the Treasure. I want to keep the Ditto. I want to keep the Devoured Field. There's the Switch. Um, Choice Band can go ahead and go on to this Zeru, I think. Switch into the Zorak. And then Lily for three. Ideally give me... No, not yet. We can still get there, though. Ideally find a Lycanroc, and I think I would take out the Slugma here. Yeah, so we do have Muck to deal with that uh, Hoopa. Beautiful. Give me that Lycanroc. And I think I do want to take out the Slugma here. I think it is the biggest threat. The Jirachi is also pretty... Annoying. Actually, let's go after the Jirachi. I think the Jirachi might be a little bit better to chase down here. All right, it's beating for the knockout. Hoping for a Muck pull here off the prize cards. We'll see. Muck. Not quite. I have to dig a little bit deeper. That's fine, though. Just going to take some time. We'll eventually get the Muck out. Um, we're going to have to look for Guzmas here now as they are promoting the Hoopa. So we have to like Guzma around this Hoopa a couple times. Uh, we can also pull off an Ace Arola at some point and pick up that Lele. That has taken 10 damage. Get that off the bench as soon as possible. Uh, make room for the Ditto or the Rockruff. There's the Guzma. Go down goes the Grimer. All right. That's fine. Goodbye, Grimer. We'll stretch her back for the Grimer immediately on this turn, I think. Um, so it's unlikely they'll have another Guzma combo play with only a three-card hand. Um, so I'm feeling good about benching the Grimer again this turn. But we can also stretch uh, Ace Arola the Lele this turn. So we can go like Ace Arola Lele. Stretch it for one. Bench Ditto, Bench Grimer. Bench Grimer, Bench Ditto. And then uh, Riot is beating for the knockout. Um, they are playing Rainbow Energy, so I assume they play a Sledgehammer Buzzle. So this is their Sledgehammer turn. Um, it's a little scary. There's the Muck, so we're pretty much all set from here on out. I don't think we're really going to be stopped. Um, we didn't attach this turn, but there wasn't really anything to attach to for sure, so I'm fine with not attaching that turn. Um, we're going to put the gr we're going we're to want to evolve the Ditto and then Muck onto the Grimer. Unless they KO the Ditto or the Grimer, then we'll just put the Muck on whatever one they didn't knock out. So that's fine. It really comes down to what our opponent has on the turn, I guess. They've been having a pretty slow game the last couple turns. There's an Erica's Hospitality, so they're going to have a ton of stuff to work with now. Um, it is a shame to kind of stretcher for the grimer without also stretching for the muck in the same turn because then uh, we can't really set up two mucks anymore it's going to be just the one muck from here on out uh, which is fine we can deal with that we just need to draw four prizes to kind of close out this game here so that's going to be our priority just we just need to draw four prizes um there's an escape rope i th think we just push up our other zork yeah I could also evolve the Ditto into Muck and make my opponent think I play a second Muck or a second Stretcher. Which I think would actually be a fine play as well. We'll kind of just see how the, this turn develops for our opponent. 
and then make our decision from there. So they are going to be able to smooth over and sell our wish into something here. Um, like the, it's really not worth it to play Macargo with Jirachi. If you're playing Jirachi, you don't really need Macargo. I feel like that's a little bit overkill. But we'll see what they go with here. They can pull off that play if they want to, I think. I don't think they've smoothed over yet. They've used this Stellar Wish. They haven't used this Stellar Wish. Um, so yeah, I think they can go with a smooth over Stellar Wish. If they want to, um, I don't really think it's worth it. In my opinion, it's not worth it. But here we go. Smooth over Stellar Wish. I mean, they might be able to pull off some kind of play that allows them to get a uh, Sledgehammer and knock out our Zorark, which would actually be pretty annoying. Um, they would go down to three prizes, but then we have our Zorark ready to go. We might not actually, we might actually just not evolve the Muck on either of these until we need to. Uh, but it would be nice to shut down the Jirachis, I guess. Yeah, never mind. I've already changed my mind on that one. I'm definitely going to be evolving it pretty soon. Uh, but they don't really have a, one, a way to one-shot the Muck consistently, so... If they have like bring it up and hit it, we actually having the ditto on the bench is probably the best way to go. Oh, it's the same thing as having the muck on the bench. I don't know. We'll figure out. We'll figure out what to do as our once our opponent finishes their turn. Finally, I'm not quite sure how I want to play this out from here. Um, it really does depend on our opponent's turn, which they are taking forever to decide what to do. So yeah, it depends on what they do. Um, could very well get sledgehammered this turn, and that would put us in an awkward spot. I feel like we have the devoured field, so we would be able to respond, knock out the. Buzzwool. That's only if they're able to get there, though. We'll see. There's a Stellar Wish. We'll see what they grab. Most likely, the card they put on top of Smooth Over is what they're going to be grabbing here off the Stellar Wish. We'll see, though. Should be able to know pretty much what their whole play is going to be once we see this card. It's an Ultra Ball. So that means probably Buzzwool, and they have a Rainbow on hand, and we'll be knocking out ours or GX with Sledgehammer. If I had to guess, that's what I would assume is about to go down. Lightning and Stretcher. Ooh, Let Loose Marshadow. Okay, that is not what I expected at all. All right. <laughs> yeah, definitely not what I expected at all. I um, guess this means we won't be able to use our Muck for sure this turn. But yeah, that is actually far from <laughs> far from what I thought was going to happen. Interesting. All right, we'll see where it goes from here then. They don't have an energy yet. Uh, they're just going to retreat to Hoopa and pass, it looks like. That's fine with us, though. We know we have the Muck in the deck now. I definitely want to take out the Macargo if possible, and I will be able to do that now. I'm going to go like this. I think the second Lycan Rock is in the deck. I might be wrong. Nope, there it is. So we're going to Bloodthirsty Yards up the Macargo. Um, look for the Muck. Um, and then just kind of win the game through that. Bring this guy up. Put this down. We're going to be drawing 12 cards here off Cynthia plus Triple Trade. So the chance of us not finding a way. There we go. We already found a way to find the Muck. Um, trade away Zerua here. Trade away, I think a fighting energy. I don't want to Ultra Ball for it, but if I have to, I will. Trade away the counter gain. I think we're gonna stay ahead pretty much this whole game. A timer Ball would be nice. The Muck itself is also pretty nice. There we go, Muck shut off all their abilities and then Ride of Speed and KO. The only ability that they could potentially possibly use on their turn, which is the Macargo. The Jirachis are shut down. The Hoopa is shut down. The whole squad is shut down. Um, yeah, looking good for us from here. Um, our Muck is... I, doubt, I doubt they would have the KO on the Muck this turn. And we have Ace of Roll. So if they just bring it up and punch it with Zapdos, we can just Ace of Roll it, which is great. And uh, we should be able to close out the game pretty pretty easily from here. I'm not feeling... I'm feeling pretty, pretty good about this one from here on out. Um, now that we got the Muck finally out of the prizes, into play. Lycan Rocks are rolling. Zorarks are rolling. Um, yeah, we're, uh, doing good. There they go. They got their Slugma back. Once, like I said, I'm not really worried about that anymore. Yeah, we should just be able to, like, draw the rest of our prizes pretty easily here. Um, we're going to take a knockout this turn. I mean, I don't know. I guess they could. No, I can't even think of anything that they could do that would actually, like, be like, whoa, Calm down there. Give us a chance. They punch us with a Zapdos this turn. We're just going to Ace Arola our Zork. I think we still have Palpad left as well. Um, we have both our Guzmas left. And yeah, there's the concession from our opponent. There was pretty much no way they were winning that game anymore at that point. Um, once we got the muck out, easy pickings. And take a dub there in that one. Game here. Going second. But we have the Elm. We have Elm, Lily, and Cynthia as options in our opening hand. And I'm probably going with the Elm into the Cynthia. We're playing against a 
Gengar Mimikyu deck. Okay, interesting. Um, there should be easy pickings for the Zoroark, though. Uh, there's Trash Lanch involved as well, but despite the Trash Lanch and the Mimikyu, now that we see that one, I think we're still going to be in a very good spot to take this one. Um, yeah, not too worried about it um, at all. Gengar Mimikyu's are easy knockouts. There's an Inke as well, so they're playing a Malamar line in here as well. Super interesting deck here from our opponent. Oh, they play the Pseudo Wudo though. So that means we actually cannot just knock out the Gengar Mimikyu. All right, so we're gonna grab this into Zerua. Rock Ruff in hand, but if we get Muck out, we can shut it off and then uh, cruise from there. So that's gonna be the plan. Oh, we can't involve Ditto. Oh no, we can. I was like, we can't involve Ditto under Pseudo Wudo, but that's not quite how that works. We can definitely involve Ditto under Pseudo Wudo. Gonna hold off into the DCE and pass over to our opponent. Um, so yeah, I think this one should be a pretty, a fairly easy matchup as long as we're able to set up, um, which I don't think will be too hard for us to do. Um, we'll see what our opponent has in store for us. They might even go ahead and hit us with that early uh, Horror House GX. We'll see. There's the Malamar coming down. Um, a super cool deck from our opponent though, actually. Uh, very interesting. <laughs> very interesting deck. I actually kind of like it. There's the Cynthia for six. And then I assume we're going to get Poltergeisted here. Um, we'll see if our opponent has anything else in store besides that. Nope, just the Poltergeist. 200 damage to our Rockruff. A little overkill, but uh, it's all right. All right, set up our Zerua. If we top deck um, Choice Band, we'll just Ultra Ball for a Zorark. No Choice Band. So we're going to Ultra Ball for the Muck because there's a way higher chance that we find a Zorark. Muck is prized. I take it back. We're not getting a Muck. I'm just gonna get a Zorak here. We might actually just go ahead and just punch it for... Um, I could trade away the Cynthia. How many items are in here? Just two. I don't really wanna like draw into a bunch of trainers potentially and then not be able to move them out of the hand. So I'm gonna trade away the Cynthia because it's at least one trainer down. Muck is always prized, man. All right. Um, Attach here, and we're just gonna go ahead and, and punch for, I don't know, how much are we punching for? 180? 160? 160, yeah. Punch it for 160, um, and then just take the two shot. We only have one item, or one trainer in our hand, so they're doing 30 damage. So we should maintain control of our uh, items in discard pile, trainers in hand, and it doesn't really matter if we don't really do that much on our turns. Uh, there's an E hammer, that's annoying. Uh, but we'll be drawing three prizes next turn on this Gengar Mimikyu, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, we just, we just keep control of trainers in hand, items in discard pile. It doesn't really matter what else happens. We'll be able to win the game eventually. Just kind of a matter of time thing, I feel like. Um, Gengar Mimikyu won't do a ton of damage. Trash Lance won't do a ton of damage. No damage should be dealt by anyone anywhere at any time. Um, but it's a really cute deck from our opponent. I actually kind of like this. Probably plays like a 2-2 Malamar line. You have Trash Lance as your backup. And then you have the uh, Gengar Mimikyu's as your like main attacker. Pseudo Wudu in there to prevent Zorx from one-shotting you. Um, I mean, they still one-shot one you with Kikui or Choice Band, though. So it's like not a complete prevention of what being one-shot, but... They do what they can. There we go, Psychic Recharge, and then Poltergeist, I assume. I guess they could hit us with the Horror House GX here. Yeah, that's definitely what they're gonna do. Try and get us enough trainers in our hand. Only three though, so we're gonna luck out a little bit here, I feel like. I feel like we lucked out a little bit of oh, four, um, but we can actually Viridian Force away one of these. Um, but I kinda like them all. I kinda like using the Elm and the Timer Ball. Palpad's cool, Choice Band is cool. They're only doing 200 damage, so it'll be 180. So I guess if they have a choice band themselves, they would knock us out. So we probably should Viridian Forest something away here. And I think that would be the Elm here. Um, it looks like we don't have fighting energy. That's fine. Down to three in hand. We could trade, but then we could trade into two trainers potentially. Um, so not worth it. Just going to go ahead and pass over to our opponent. And they can go ahead and hit us for... 150, 130 if they want to. Yeah, if we had kept four in hand, if they had a choice band, they would have knocked us out. So not worth getting choice banded there, I don't think. So I think this is definitely the way to go here. Uh, there's a sights here from our opponent. Looks like they're reinforcing that away. Sure. Um, treasure that energy away, it looks like. So they can then Malamar it. Um, but yeah. So we'll be fine still. Just going to keep our trainers low. Look for an Acerola next turn, probably. Acerola would be pretty nice. Pick this Zorak up, switch him out with a new one. Uh, we're real, our, our game plan is actually just going to be to KO these two Gengar Mimikyu's. We're not actually going to 
try and knock anything else out. We're just literally going to focus on knockouting our Mimikyu, knockouting our Mimikyu. And that's our six prize cards. So that's all we're worried about getting. Those two knockouts. There's the 130. Not even close to a knockout. All right, back over to my turn. Draw. Nothing too ridiculous so far. Let's go ahead and use a timer ball. Get some more Zoroarks out. Bada bing. These guys. Um... So let's see, Palpad, not going to be that useful anymore. We don't have any good uh, supporters in the discard pile yet. So as, once we finally find them, I don't think it's going to be worth really having them. Um, I want to save the Choice Band. I want to play the Devoured Field. I would ideally Ace Arola here. Um, so we could just trade the Mallow, I think. Um, hmm. Playing the Devour Field really isn't that important, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and trade it. And then we can save the Ultra Ball to potentially Ultra Ball away other items. Or trainer cards, depending on what we draw. Um. Gonna get that Ace of Rolla. One, two, three, four. Only four items still in the discard pile, so really not that big of a deal. Ace of Roller, our Zorark. Send up a fresh Zorark. We're going to bench the Rockruff so they can't focus our Rockruff. And then we can just like go look to chase down the other. Uh, we're going to draw three prizes here. So we actually probably want to play out as many of these trainers as possible. Go ahead and just grab the other Lycanroc, I guess, just in case we'd want that. Uh, we're going to hold the Choice Band because they probably play a Field Blower as a... Trash Lanch deck. <clears throat> Probably play a Field Blower. So, yeah. We're going to draw three prizes here. We know we have two Fighting Energy prizes, I believe. So, yeah. It's likely we grab one of those. Second choice being Guzma. Okay. Only three trainers in hand once again. So, we should be all set. There's six in the discard pile. So, not a big deal there. Um, so, yeah. We have game in hand. We just need our opponent to not judge or let loose us. And the game is pretty much over. If they do judge us. Uh, I mean, we're not out of it by any means. So, we're just chilling. We're set up pretty well here to be able to close out the game. Expect to win this one on the next turn. We'll see if our opponent has anything special to throw at us. There's the Cynthia. No bench space for let loose. So our hand is not being disrupted this turn, which means we just kind of have the game. Just going to be a matter of time. Just waiting for our opponent to go through the motions. They're hoping that we have enough trainer cards in our hand to knock us out. But not quite another 130. And we're going to take the game here on this, ne on this next turn. So super interesting deck from our opponent. But really cannot handle Zorark. Um, probably has some better matchups, but Zorark is definitely not one of them. And we take this game pretty easily here against the Gengar Mimikyu Garbodor deck. And that's going to do it for this video on the Zorark, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give the video a like. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the description down below. Um, links in the description for... Did I see the... In the comment section down below links in the description down below to my twitch live stream as well as social media links check all that fun stuff out have a good day thanks for watching and peace